Well, can you believe it? Including tonight, only three weeks left in the regular season. And for Nevis, can't help to look at a potential Week 8 showdown with fellow top five ranked Steven Argyle. Tuple, couple tough games, though, starting with tonight. Before that, hosting fourth ranked uh, Norman County East Ulan Hitterdale, who's 4 and 1. Midway through the first, Tigers driving Jack DeWolf with the quarterback keeper. That'll finish it on the sideline, setting them up good. And later in the drive, they finish it off. Kyle Schmidt. He'll tumble into the end zone. Two-point conversion makes it 8 nothing. But Titans answer ensuing drive. Tate Macy finds Isaac Hammondang. Just breaks the plane for the score. And how about this? Norman County East goes on the road and upsets Nevis 2014. The final to Class A. 4-1 Bagley hosting 8th ranked Ada Borup. Norman County West opening drive for Ada. Ball dropped, the Flyers swarm to the quarterback and take him down the backfield for the big loss. Bagelin tried using special teams to get them going. Tan and Agnes squirts through the hole here and off to the races. Just brought down those short, drive would later stall. Ada's offense though, they didn't stall. Clicked on all cylinders tonight. Jared Brenard deep to Wobbard riding for the score. They go on to win this one big, 35-7. Walker Hackensack Akeley looking for their fourth win, hosting Pine River Bacchus. How about some fireworks? That's how the Wolves look tonight. Look at the defense. A pack of them swarm into the ball and gets the receiver for a loss. Then a little offense. Riley Welk shows off the wheels. The draw right up the middle of the defense for the touchdown. That's the last update we had. Wolves winning by 20 in the third quarter. Pillager ranked 13th in Class 2A, hosting Wadena Deer Creek. Let's go to the second. Logan Jokvik takes the handoff. He'll find the paint here. That six extends the Husky lead. 12 zip heading into the locker room. Then first drive of the third, Eli Horn. He'll find the end zone to extend the lead. Impressive all Pillager tonight. They go on to win 40 to nothing. Aiken, they're looking for a statement. Went over 10th ranked Esco in Class 3A. And the Eskimos, they're pretty good. The long run here by Tyler Peterson. That'll set them up deep in Aiken territory. And the next play, Brendan Duran to Ryan Nelson for the pitch and catch. He'll score. Esko grinds this one out, 45-28. They defeat Aiken. Well, Pequot Lakes, they're looking to move to 4-2 at home against Park Rapids. Let's start in the second. Patriots already up 6-0. Kelvin Maskey rolls to his left. Gets to the sideline and finds some room for the score. Pequot up 12, the next drive. Kale Wolf, he'll drop back to pass. Looking, looking, finds Chase Larson down the sideline. He'll stroll in the end zone for six more. Patriots win this one big, 55 to eight. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.